un Wildfires in Greece ignite an ammunition depot, an explosive illustration of the damage caused by extreme heat. As wildfires rage in many parts of Europe and the Mediterranean, scientists say this July is on course to being the hottest ever recorded, a global average of 17 degrees Celsius globally. And there are warnings that a tipping point is fast approaching. The era of global warming has ended, the era, the era of global boiling has arrived. The air is unbreathable, the heat is unbearable, and the level of fossil fuel profits and climate inaction is unacceptable. Americans are also sweltering under the summer sun. US President Joe Biden is calling climate change an existential threat and ordered emergency measures to keep everyone safe. Today I'm announcing additional steps to help states and cities deal with the consequences of extreme heat. We should be protecting workers from hazardous conditions, and we will. And those states where they do not, I'm going to be calling them out, where they refuse to pr 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 protect these workers in the it's awful heat. Some scientists warn that temperatures could get even hotter. They say action needs to be taken now to cut emissions and slow global warming. It's like we are facing death and seeing that climate change is not just an idea of science. It is real and it hurts. And it, you are facing not just a death, but baking in an oven. And this, is, this is very critical period that uh, has emerged. This summer, dozens of people have been killed and thousands made homeless across the Northern Hemisphere. While the fires are likely to die down as the summer runs its course, the danger remains. That what we consider catastrophic today may become part of everyday life tomorrow. Vincent Monaghan, Al Jazeera.